Hello, I'm Dr. Linda Steingold, Director of Dermatology Clinical Research at Henry Ford Health System in Detroit, Michigan. Today, I'm going to speak about Topineroff Cream 1% once daily for plaque psoriasis, a long-term extension trial of a novel therapeutic RO hydrocarbon receptor modulating agent. On the next slide, we see my relevant disclosures. Going to the next slide, we now see that Tepineroff is a novel therapeutic oral hydrocarbon receptor modulating agent in development for both psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. Prior to this long-term Soaring 3 study, Tepineroff demonstrated significant efficacy in Soaring 1 and 2, which were identical 12-week randomized vehicle-controlled phase 3 trials in adults with mild to severe psoriasis. Furthermore, in a phase 2b trial of Tepineroff, efficacy was maintained after discontinuation of the drug. This unique finding warranted further investigation of the potential remittive effect of Tepineroff. Thus, Soaring 3 was designed to assess the efficacy, durability, remittive effect, safety tolerability of the drug. So looking now at the next slide, we see that 92% of eligible patients from the pivotal trials elected to enroll in Soaring 3 and received up to 40 weeks of open label treatment with drug once daily, followed by a four week off treatment follow up period. Patients entering with or achieving complete disease clearance defined as a PGA score of zero discontinued to Peneroff and were monitored for remittive effects defined as an off therapy maintenance of a PGA score of zero or one, clear or almost clear. Patients who entered with a PGA score of one or greater received Tepineroff until complete disease clearance occurred. If the disease worsened, defined as a PGA score of mild or greater, Tepineroff was restarted and continued until a PGA score of zero was achieved. Efficacy endpoints included complete disease clearance, which was a PGA of zero or clear, remittive effect reported by the duration of efficacy maintenance defined as a PGA score of zero or one while off therapy after achieving complete disease clearance or a PGA of zero. Response defined as the proportion of patients who entered the trial with a PGA score of mild or greater who achieved a PGA score of zero or one at least once during the trial. Durability of response, meaning maintenance of efficacy while on treatment defined as the proportion of patients who achieved a PGA score of zero or one at least once during the trial. We looked at tolerability, measured using a patient-reported five-point scale for burning, stinging, and itching, and an investigator assessed, fi assessed five-point scale for dryness, erythema, and peeling. And finally, we looked at safety. Now, in the next slide, we see the patient demographics and disease characteristics at baseline in the long-term extension trial. These are summarized here and they include, they're separated by prior treatment arm in the pivotal trials. The lower baseline disease scores in patients previously randomized to, to Pineroff compared with those on vehicle are reflective of the significant efficacy of the Pineroff in the pivotal trials. Overall, 10% of patients entered the study with a PGA score of zero and approximately 31% en entered with a score of zero or one. Now on the next slide during Soaring 3, continued improvements in efficacy above and beyond the 12-week pivotal trials were observed with Depineroff. Complete disease clearance achieved, was achieved by 41% of patients at least once during the study. Overall, 58% of patients who entered Soaring 3 with a score of mild or worse disease achieved a PGA score of 0 or 1 at least once during the study. On the next slide, a median remittive effect of 115 days, meaning the duration that patients maintained a PGA score of clear or almost clear while off to Pineroff therapy was observed in patients entering Soaring 3 with a PGA score of zero. Now for those patients who entered with a score of completely clear, they achieved a mean remittive effect of 130 days or approximately four months. Thus, the patients who achieved complete disease clearance were able to maintain a PGA score of clear or almost clear for approximately four months after stopping to Pineroff. 
On the next slide, we see durability of response, meaning no loss of response on therapy. And this was demonstrated for up to 52 weeks with intermittent use of Tepinerov, indicating no tachyphylaxis across groups based on the proportion of patients achieving a PGA score of zero or one. In addition, at baseline, 10.4% of participants had a PGA score of zero and 31.6% had a PGA score of zero or one. Now at week 40, 16.9% had a PGA score of zero and 44.3% had a score of zero or one despite going on and off to pin her off therapy. On the next slide, we see that Tepinerov was well tolerated with a long-term safety profile that was consistent with previous trials and no new safety signals were reported. Treatment emergent adverse events were mostly mild to moderate at application sites and associated with a low study discontinuation rate of 5.4%. The incidence and severity of folliculitis and contact dermatitis were mild or moderate and neither increased nor worsened with the long-term treatment. In addition, folliculitis and contact dermatitis were associated with a low discontinuation rate of 1.2% and 1.4% respectively. So on the next slide, in conclusion, to pin her off cream 1% once daily demonstrate, demonstrated continued and substantial improvement in efficacy endpoints beyond the 12 weeks that observed in the pivotal trials a high rate of complete disease clearance and a remittive effect of approximately four months off therapy was demonstrated with Depineroff and no loss of efficacy was seen over the 52 weeks. Depineroff was well tolerated with a long-term use and safety profile consistent with the pivotal trials. Depineroff has the potential to offer important benefits in the treatment of psoriasis. Thanks so much.